Grade 7 Math, number 4.1a, Unit Rates and Complex Fractions. Commonly used rates like miles per hour make it easy to understand and compare rates. Tala hikes a half mile every 15 minutes, which is one-fourth of an hour. An hour is 15 minutes, isn't it? If we have a clock, we have an entire hour is the whole circle, and we break it up like this, each one of these is 15 minutes, isn't it? Well, Lisa hikes a third mile every 10 minutes. That's one-sixth of an hour. So how far do they each hike in one hour and then in two hours? So we think, all right, Tala hikes half a mile in one-fourth hour. If we have one hour and we break it into four boxes, they're each 15 minutes, correct? And they're each one-fourth of an hour. And we know she walks a half mile in one-fourth hour. So we put a half and a half and a half and a half. And we can see that's one whole mile that's two whole miles. We could also do four times a half because we broke the hour into fourths. We could do four times that half and get four halves, which is equal to two when we simplify it. In the two hours, we just multiply the two miles by two and get four miles in two hours. Does that make sense? All right, for Lisa, she walks a third of a mile in one-sixth of an hour. So we broke our hour into six parts, each of a sixth, see? And because three-thirds equals one mile, we can see she walks one mile here, and we have another three-thirds, another mile here. So in one hour, she's walking two miles. We could also do six times one-third, because the hour was broken up into six, and we do six times each of these thirds, we get six over three, and that, Simplified equals 2 also, just like Tala's. And in 2 hours, we just multiply the 2 miles by 2. She goes 4 miles in 2 hours. See? All right. A rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, like the miles and the parts of an hour in the last problem. It's two different types of units. And rates are usually shown as unit rates with a denominator of one unit. So... If you go 40 miles in two hours, we can divide them both by two. Because of that two hours, we want the, the denominator to be a one. And in order to get this two to become a one, we need to divide it by two, don't we? So we're gonna divide the numerator by two. So 40 divided by two ends up becoming 20 over one. It's 20 miles in one hour, 20 miles per hour. When the two quantities are being compared in the rate are both fractions. The rate is shown as a complex fraction. We talked about that a little bit a couple videos ago. It's a fraction that has a fraction as a numerator, the denominator, or both. So we have a half and a fraction bar and a three. We have a three, a fraction bar and a two thirds, or three fourths, a fraction bar and a half. So that's a fraction of a fraction, isn't it? Well, all it means is a half divided by a third, or three divided by two thirds, or three-fourths divided by a half, okay? So remember, I always say fractions are just little division problems. If you saw six-thirds, we know to simplify it, it means to do six divided by three. It would be a two, wouldn't it? All right, so Emma is painting her house and she estimates that she paints 60 square feet every half hour. So how many square feet does she paint per hour? So we think, all right, well, 60 square feet every half hour, we put the area that's painted over the time, the 60 square feet over the half hour. And because this is just a little division problem, it means 60 divided by a half, doesn't it? Well, when we divide a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. So 60 divided by a half is going to become 60 over 1 to make it a fraction. And we take this half and we flip it upside down so its feet are in the air and it becomes a 2 over a 1. Then we do the multiplication straight across. 60 times 2 is 120. 1 times 1 is 1. So do you remember that when we have a fraction, the reciprocal is just an upside-down version of him? See? A little feeder in the air. All right. So now we have 120 over 1, and that's 120 square feet over 1 hour. It's the area painted over the time. And now we do have 1 as a denominator, so now we know we're done. She paints 120 square feet per hour. I'm going to make a second video about unit rates. It's going to be number 4.1b. I hope this was helpful. 
And I don't know if you noticed in the description, but I have a Patreon account. And if you want to support Joanne's school, you can become a monthly patron. Just visit patreon.com. Bye.